And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, we've dealt with it all day long. That rainfall finally beginning to let up just a tad over the last couple of hours. And what happens? More rain begins to move right in. You can see more of this moisture swinging in around the round of low pressure that's supplied us with all this rainfall throughout the day already. You can see across the region, a lot of that sustained rain now sweeping right back into the viewing area. Let's take a look at our Precision 18 radar right now. Some of the heaviest rainfall parts of Howard County zooming in a little bit further. You can see more of that heavy rainfall off across parts of Fountain and Warren Counties, Tip Canoe County, even parts of Pulaski and White County at this hour. And earlier on today, we really saw the heavy stuff come down. That's where we saw a swath of heavy rainfall move across parts of Newton and Jasper counties. And over the last 24 hours alone, some portions of those counties have received more than two inches of total rainfall. Here in Tippecanoe County, about an inch of rain. More than that, off to the northeast over parts of Carroll as well as Cass County. Now, these are all radar estimated rainfall amounts. But those official numbers on total rainfall announced from today, tomorrow morning. As it stands right now, we're seeing temperatures level off in the mid 40s for the time being. That is after we had a high temperature of 57 earlier on today. It's 45 degrees in Lafayette right now. Winds remain from the west about 13 miles per hour, a bit on the breezy side, but those temperatures remain relatively stable. We have the cloud cover, we have the rainfall, all that moisture in the atmosphere to thank for the stabilization of temperatures. And even with a secondary weak cold front rolling across the viewing area late tonight, early tomorrow morning, it's likely we're not going to see temperatures fall much further than the upper 30s throughout much of the viewing area. 46 degrees in Winnemac right now, 45 in Frankfort. We're at 47 degrees in Crawfordsville at this hour. Notice the scattered rainfall continues overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning. You may also notice some blue. Our precision, precision future cast is, I feel, jumping the gun just a tad on bringing snow chances back to Greater Lafayette early tomorrow morning. Temperatures here at the surface remain just a tad bit warm. However, I wouldn't be that, that surprised to see maybe some slushy rainfall, maybe a little bit of some wintry mixture, especially across our northern counties early tomorrow morning. 39, your overnight low temperature in Lafayette, 41 in Crawfordsville, 38 deg degrees in Winnemac for tonight into early tomorrow morning. We bounce back up to around 41 in Lafayette by 10 a.m. with scattered rain, only reaching a high of 47 degrees in Lafayette tomorrow. And now once again, we're talking about the Futurecast bringing a little bit more of that snow back to the region as much as I'd like to see rainfall. Maybe some light wintry mixture is a possibility, but scattered light rain showers are a possibility throughout the morning, the early afternoon, tomorrow to, before to, uh, exiting the region as early as the dinner time hour. Thursday, a high temperature of 47 degrees. We do cool off a bit on Friday, 46, with another cold front rolling in. This is the system that could bring those chances of wintry mixture, maybe some light snowfall late Friday night. Overnight lows that night, 25 degrees by Saturday. We only reach a high in the low 40s. Oof. All right. Well, with that kind of wind.